Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Smith & Wesson Tactical Pen with Stylus, so stay tuned. So in this package, you notice that there's also a knife. It's one of those promo packs, probably because of the holiday season. And uh, got this for the, a very good price, 25 bucks at a place that bargains are few and far between Dick's Sporting Goods. So I was very surprised for some reason. I thought, you know, let me just go in here and check it out because I've, I've really almost given up going to Dick's looking for stuff and the selection is usually not that good and they usually don't have any good bargains. And quite frankly, the prices seem to be pretty high there, but I still will go in there every now and then and look for some bargains and voila found one and the, the the tactical pen there comes with this knife this knife is nothing to write home about but I'll go ahead and do a quick review on it and they do sell it separately for you know somewhere between 10 and 15 dollars the tactical pen is usually sold somewhere between 20 and 25 dollars so this package for 25 bucks is really a good deal so let's go ahead and take a close look so again, here is what you get whoops, in the package. I'll go ahead and remove the cardboard. I just wanted to put that in there so you could see it. So there's the tactical pen. This, this is really what this review is all about. We'll go ahead and go over the like, practically a, a freebie here, a knife that came with it. Nothing to write home about. The uh, specs are aluminum scales, overall length 7.1 inches, handle, Length is 4 inches, blade length is 3.1 inches. The weight is about 4 ounces. Tonneau blade, have a black coating. You have dual thumb studs. It's a liner lock and a flipper. So you can see that this goes in here. You can push it, voila. If you use some wrist action, get it open out of the box. No side to side play, no up down play. You have a partially serrated edge. Serrations are, you know, your everyday common serrations, nothing to write home about. A little bit of a swedge there. Some cutouts there probably to lighten everything up. The steel for the blade is 7CR17 um, MOV, which is cheap Chinese steel. That's uh, pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's good steel. It's uh, what most manufacturers use for their cheap Chinese knives. Looks like we have some Teflon washers in there and actually out of the box it's uh, pretty good. Alignment, centered, and uh, again lock up was good. The liner lock right there appears to be about halfway behind the blade there. So I usually like it a little bit early just so it has more room to wear but still it's uh, it's fine. And there is the model number right there, which is SWA, or if you're in the military, Sierra Whiskey Alpha, 22 Sierra, <laughs> right there. Um, we could go ahead and do a quick paper test. I don't want to do a, a big, long review on this because really, again, this review is about the tactical pen that really took my interest. Wow, it actually push cut there, so it's very, very sharp. So, you know, definitely worth $10, $50 if you come across this knife individually. But again, if you get the whole package, this is definitely a good beater. Good all-purpose every day. Can be pushed into a defense roll. Actually, the handle is uh, pretty ergonomic for any type of grip. So, oh, and... Um, totally overlooked the clip nice concealed carry clip comes all the way up there but you can't uh, move it so it is right-handed um, tip down aluminum scales everything's black wide open pillow design good decent knife for the price no no real complaints with it if I rated it individually if you get find it for ten fifteen dollars I, I would give it a um, an 8 out of 10. So this is what this review is all about. 
a tactical pen with a stylus on it right there so what do you do with a stylus well you use that for your um whew, almost burnt myself there um you use that on your your phone or your tablets or things like that it um you know you just do your thing <clears throat> it uh works on capacitive touch screens now besides that because you know this is probably the first tactical pen i've ever seen with a stylus on it which is why i grabbed it now this does have a a pocket clip which is <laughs> i don't know why all tactical pens seem to feel like or tactical pen <laughs> all ta yeah all tactical pens they seem to want to put a clip on there that is so freaking tight that if you do manage to get it into a shirt pocket they'll probably rip the pocket off when you try to take it out I wish they would um, go a little bit easier on the clip you don't need a clip like a knife on a pen really but um you know if it really pisses you off enough you could go ahead and take these screws off and just take the uh, clip off it looks like those are torque screws some pretty small torque screws now on this end of the pen you have a glass breaker or impact device right there and you can see there's also threads here uh, I want to go ahead and get my notes up real quick I am not prepared I'm just sort of uh, having fun here doing this review this is how I want to do my reviews now now down here where the stylus is you have some knurling some pretty gnarly knurling actually it's pretty grippy you know as I hold this it's also very light you know I've had I've had some other tactical pens and they seem to be overly heavy this is actually pretty light it's about one and a half ounces it's made out of uh, really nice uh, 6061 hard anodized aluminum so really neat still hard enough though to uh, be a tactical pen so I do like that it screws off just like that the threads are um, pretty decent you could hear them you know nothing nothing to write home about they're not super smooth <coughs> excuse me and you can see there's a pen there now let's go ahead and do the paper test <laughs> except with a tactical pen we will write Ooh very very nice very smooth looks like it's black of course because it's a tactical pen so the ink should be black right so the reason why this writes so well is because it uses a Parker um, ink it uses you know the refills you could get them at any office supply store it uses it says it uses the Schmidt P900M Parker style ink refills now I probably would have preferred that it used uh, the space pen refill so it could write upside down I don't know if this could write upside down let me see if it's a pressurized cartridge so the way you get at the um, the ink is to pull this guy out you know it is pressurized so it might actually write upside down I don't know it says made in Germany too by the way this pen is made in Taiwan not China I'm almost sure it's made in Taiwan. Let me uh, do a quick double check while I screw this back on. Uh, I'll double check. Now, yeah, it is made in Taiwan. By the way, the knife, made in China, <laughs> of course. So, made in Taiwan, however, you know, this is Smith & Wesson, but Smith & Wesson doesn't actually make these. Um, Smith & Wesson has uh, Taylor Brands. LCC make this which is the same company that makes uh, trade knives and I do have some favorite trade knives so the, the company does uh, make some good stuff and they do make some cheap crap too let's go ahead and close that off now if you notice if you look really close there's an o-ring where is it right there which is nice so it probably seals that up real good so you don't get any moisture in there I can feel it hit that o-ring right there so pretty nice pretty nice now you might be asking yourself well 
when you take this cap off you're, you're gonna put it down and you're gonna lose it well not necessarily remember there's some threads up here so you could go ahead and put it up there and there you go so it, as far as things I don't like about this I've already mentioned the pocket clip the other thing uh, that worries me is that in time of confusion <laughs> or you know you, uh, as a man um, I don't multitask very well <laughs> women do that better but um, let's say you got something going on and you um, are using this as a stylus on your phone or whatever you can accidentally use the wrong side and use your impact device and <coughs> you better have some Gorilla Glass <laughs> and even Gorilla Glass is not uh, invincible so um, you know you don't you you want to be mindful of which side that stylus is on <clears throat> and again you could use this on a tablet you could use it on your phone you could use it on you know any capacitive touch screen it'll, it'll work great now as you can see this is silver but it does come in other colors including pink now um, to rate this pen I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 I'm hitting it because it has a pocket clip that's just insanely tight. And again, if you have uh, a nice dress shirt and you're, you're putting your tactical pen in there to look badass in your office, um, it might like tear your pocket up. <laughs> so, um, and then if you put it on something with, with a thick material, it's going to really be tight. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't know if you could sort of bend this and, and get it to be a little bit lighter or not, but, you know, 9 out of 10. I definitely recommend it. And if you get the combination with the out of 10 rated knife right there uh, for 25 bucks, holy crap, that is a really, really good bargain. It would make a great gift for your tactical um, gift receiver that you want to give a gift to. It's, um, it's, even a great stocking stuffer or just praise it alone. I, again, highly recommend it. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining here at the Gear Session channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you, and I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.